7 Best Edible Weeds You Didn't Know You Could Eat Before you start to remove weeds from your garden, stop. Learn about the best edible weeds you didn't know you could eat, first. Do you know that many tasty and healthy edible plants can be found among the common weeds? Wild edible weeds can turn an ordinary cuisine into an exquisite dish. They also have many medicinal properties. Let's have a look at them. Before going into the video, we've just printed more copies of what is probably the best plant medicine book ever written, The Lost Book of Herbal Remedies. You'll find 800 plus beneficial plants and remedies in The Lost Book of Herbal Remedies, How to Recipes of Tinctures, Teas, Decoctions, Essential Oils, Syrups, Salves, Poultices, Infusions, and many other natural remedies that our grandparents used for centuries. What's also special about this book is that it has between two and four color pictures for each plant and detailed identification guidelines to make sure you've got the right plant. So get your copy by clicking the first link in our description. Now let's get into today's video. Which parts of edible weeds are best to eat? The nutritional value of the plants depends on the vegetation period, so you should find out what is the best time to begin harvesting. For some weeds, flowers are harvested when they are still in buds and for others, the best time is immediately after development. Depending on the species, you can cut the whole inflorescence, pluck individual flowers or just tear the petals. Leaves of these best edible weeds are tastiest and healthiest when they are young and tender although they are not suitable for long-term storage. Roots should be harvested when the plant is dormant, in the spring or autumn. Best Edible Weeds 1. Wild Amaranth Also known as pigweed, amaranth leaves are treated as green leafy vegetables like spinach. The seeds of wild amaranth are edible too and can be roasted. They are a good source of free protein. The young leaves of pigweed are soft and mild in taste and can also be used in salads or teas and the older leaves can be cooked like spinach. It contains proteins, vitamins, and minerals. This plant can be toxic to livestock animals due to the presence of nitrates in the leaves. 2. Queen Anne's Lace The wild carrot is almost identical to the highly poisonous hemlock. So be very careful that you don't confuse. There are many ways to identify wild carrots, but one important identifier of wild carrots is the smell, it smells like a carrot. Like carrots, their roots are also edible when young, first year, but can become woody if not harvested on time. Its flower heads are edible too and can be eaten raw or cooked. 3. Lamb's Quarters Lamb's quarter leaves tend to look dusty, have a white powdery coating on them. Its tender leaves are great in salads and can be used as a substitute for other leafy vegetables. Its flowers and seeds are also edible that taste like quinoa. However, its seeds contain toxic called saponins in meager amounts and should not be consumed in excess. Lamb's quarters contain some oxalic acid therefore when eating this raw, small quantities are recommended. However, its seeds contain toxic called saponins in meager amounts and should not be consumed in excess. This plant can be toxic to livestock animals due to the presence of nitrates in the leaves. 4. Comfrey Comfrey is a member of the borage family. Although not very aromatic, this herb is known for its medicinal properties and high protein content. Its roots and leaves are also used to treat wounds because they contain elantoin, a substance that helps new skin cells grow to heal the wound quickly. For cooking, only use young leaves as older leaves grow hard hairs. Apart from that, comfrey can also be used as garden fertilizer and as mulch. 5. Wintercress The wintercress is available at the time in winter when most of the plants don't even grow. It belongs to the mustard family and is considered a weed. However, it is a rich source of vitamin C. 
the leaves are bitter but best in taste before the plant starts to flower while they are still young and tender. At this stage, they can be added to salads like rockets. It can also be used as a vegetable like spinach. 6. Common Mallow Common mallow has many medicinal and edible uses and can be easily found growing wild in most places. All parts of this plant are edible. The leaves, flowers, fruits, and seeds can be eaten, whether raw in salads or cooked, and like many other leafy greens, usually more tender and tasty when they are smaller and less mature. It has a very mild flavor, although the plant is quite rich in vitamins A, B, and C, along with calcium, magnesium, and potassium. 7. Purslin Common purslin is a healthy edible weed from the moss rose family. You might be surprised but in China and India and in many other countries it is cultivated popularly. It can be a great addition to a salad, soups, or stews. It has a crunchy texture and leaves and stems can be eaten raw or cooked to add a spicy flavor to any dish. And don't forget to check out the Lost Book of Herbal Remedies book where you'll find 800 plus beneficial plants and remedies on how to recipes of tinctures, teas, decoctions, essential oils, syrups, salves, poultices, infusions, and many other natural remedies that our grandparents used for centuries. What's also special about this book is that it has between two and four color pictures for each plant and detailed identification guidelines to make sure you've got the right plant. So get your copy by clicking the first link in our description.